So the assumption is that the first glaciers appeared in Antarctica about 35 million years ago. But actually what we were able to demonstrate is that the first glaciers has appeared already about 60 million years ago. So we push it back by, by about 30 million years, roughly the time when uh, uh, dinosaurs have just uh, become extinct on Earth. What we know about that time, about 60 million years ago, is that the temperature of the Earth was about 20 degrees higher. So imagine a landscape of densely vegetated forest, subtropical forest, believe it or not, in Antarctica. Around this forest, high peaks, high mountains, and only at the very top of those mountains, uh, these small, tiny glaciers. The study is based on uh, the analysis of a landform that we call uh, cirque or cori. These are bowl-shaped uh, carved erosional features uh, that glaciers leave behind. We normally think of fossils as just biological fossils, like animals or plants. But actually the landscape is full of fossils in a sense. Uh, so this glacial cirques that we study up high in the Transantarctic Mountains of, of Antarctica essentially are fossils that they tell us about a time, a landscape, a climate that was much different from present day. It's important for us to understand how the landscape evolved through times and how glacier responded to climate through times because by doing so then we can inform uh, models of climate change and glacier dynamics which might be relevant to what's happening at present and into the future.